Hey everyone, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on today? So this week's GW pre-orders is there is nothing really too new. Uh, there's a lot of new battle forces. Uh, but as for model wise, there isn't anything except for this pretty cool Lake Town house um, that I'll get into later on. Um, these battle forces are massive. We have a new Blood Bowl, Blood on the Snow, uh, winter themed pitch um, and of course I will be looking at these in pound as well so first up we have the lake townhouse now this really got me excited when I seen it this is exactly what I've been wanting to build for the gaming table I had planned um, I wanted these kind of walkways along the water um, this house and everything it fits it perfectly what I was really wanting to go for but there's only one little tiny problem with this. It is unfortunately for the Hobbit, and you know that's and uh, that itself is not the problem. But the problem is that the Hobbit is a lot of smaller scale. Um, I think this one has a picture of models, so I really don't know how this will fit into like a normal forty k or Age of Sigmar game. I think it might be a little bit too small maybe. I think it will it'll still work. But I think maybe the walkway might be a little small. But other than that, that's the only thing that kinda has me worried about it a little bit. But the price is thirty two fifty and to be honest with you, that's an absolute steal. I think that's an incredible price for this. Um you get your little boat, you get your little I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna call it an outhouse. Um you know, and even the building itself is really nice. It's full of little details. The paint job on here is really nice looking. It really has it looking nice and old and weathered. You have your like your fishing nets and all this stuff. It's really cool. Um It's thirty two fifty, which to be honest with you, that's an incredible price, I think, for that. Uh that's coming in at oh, I'm on the wrong one. Oh I'm not. I gotta change this to UK pound. Good man, sponge. There we go. It's coming in at £25, which is really good. Um, what you get in it is one rowing boat, two barrels, two fish baskets. That's what they were called, fish baskets. One glass float. That's, these are all like little things you get with it. Two lanterns, hanging signboard, an outhouse. Oh, it is an outhouse. I was right. Including, including seat and door saw. Well, it sounds like you get your toilet with it as well. Uh, loading hook, three long walkways, and one short walkway. Now, that's pretty awesome, but then again... You can get it as a bundle, you get the Lake Townhouse multi-pack, and that's coming in at 90 euro. So you're actually saving money on something that GW is doing. You know, these little, uh, when they do something like this where it's like a multi-pack, it's like, yeah, you get three of them together, but you're not saving any money. With this one, what is it, you're actually saving uh, about 750. It kind of feels like a secret, like a dirty secret that they're after letting out and I shouldn't be telling people. But you're saving money on this, you're getting like a whole, geez, you're getting like a whole side of a little town here for like 90 euro, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, I really like that, I probably will be considering getting this pretty soon. The only problem is I'd really like to see it uh, properly, just to see the size of it, that's the only thing that has me worried about it, but apart from that it looks pretty awesome. Uh, then we have the Blood Bowl, Blood on the Snow, double sided Blood Bowl pitch. This is a this is a bit of a stinger now. This one is it's twenty three euro for a cardboard. No, I'm for a cardboard gaming board. No, I'm sure the quality is good. Like the pitch looks really nice. The snow and you have the markings of the orc team and the human team. It looks really nice, but it's still twenty three euro for a fucking board. Like really. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot I can say about it. How much is it in pound? Uh, 18 pound if you really really love your blood ball I like blood ball and I'd be honest with you I really can't see myself playing 23 euro for this uh, you do get free rules for like winter time rules and everything uh, but other than that it's there if you want it for your blood ball set up and then we move on to the battle forces now I haven't selected all of them but we have let's see what I have um, Adaptus Mechanicus there that's really nice I should have clicked that one um, I'm a big fan of them, especially the big robot guys there. Uh, you have your Stormcast Eternals, your Iron Jaws, your Tau, Death Watch, which has become really popular lately. Uh, Sylvanite, Corn, Bloodbound, which I love. 
And then you have finally have your Space Wolf Iron Claw Strike Force. These all of these are 130 euro. That is 100 pound. Um, now I haven't worked out exactly how much you're saving on each one, but you are saving money because I really did quickly look at this. Um, and I know that the Devilfish is like 30 euro. Um, the Pathfinder team I think is 25, so that's 55. One of these guys is like 60 euro. So uh, yeah, are saving money. I, I don't know exactly how much, but it's a really good set to get. Um, probably out of the whole lot of them. Okay, I don't know what this one is. Um, I'm a big fan of the Corn Bloodbound. There's a problem with this one, right? It says here below what you get. Uh, you scar blood rat. You get all this. Uh, three mighty skull crushers. So that is these guys back here. The three big guys on the juggernaut here. But when you click on their picture here, it's showing five. That's showing what you get if you get a brand new box of them, but you only get three in in this battle force. So that's a little bit of a a little bit of an annoyance there. But otherwise, I have some of these models. I have them from the starter set and this Bloodbound box. These models are fantastic. I was never into Chaos. I was never into Corn, especially. But these really changed that for me. Now I'm looking to expand it on top of that. Just as soon as I get some of them painted up first. Um, the Sylvanet is awesome because... Like, look at these models. Do, do you really have to explain? You get Dreja. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Uh, you get a tree man, which is awesome. I don't know what these guys are called, but they're like tree spirits or something like that. They're pretty cool. Um, and then you get like the fire. I like to call these guys fire trees. Cause just look at them. But um, yeah, 130 euro for these um battle forces. But this base wolf one is really good. Um, you're not just getting a box full of tactical marines and a box of terminators. You're getting this ship thing. I want to see what this is called, actually. Stormfang Gunship, Vernable Dreadnought, Terminators, Blood Claws, Furnishing Wolves, and an Iron Priest. Like, all of these are really nice. Um, I, like, it's no, it's, it's like, Space Wolves are popular, are popular because, like, I don't know about the rules, but just look at them. Like, look at this Iron Priest, or Wolf Priest guy. He's awesome. The, Gunship looks really nice. Uh, a lot of people, I don't, I'm not mad on Dreadnoughts and uh, the normal plain ones, but this one kitted out looks pretty badass. Uh, you have like the, uh, like the wolf pelts on the Terminators and all the skulls and everything. Oh, you get the wolves as well. I didn't even see that. Oh, there they are. Oh, I like them. Might have to invest in a little box of them. Um, but yeah, this is probably one of my favourites of this, uh, definitely from the 40k side anyway. Space Wolves, have, I've always liked Space Wolves, they're awesome. Um, and then the last two things, we get two books, we get the Codex, uh, Chaotica, Apocryphia, Apocryphia, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, oh, then Battle Forces, yeah, they're £100 each. The Chaotica, yeah, now this... When I first seen this, now if I had seen this on eBay, I would have just literally scrolled straight past it. Because it just looks like an old Chaos Army book from like the 90s or something like that. Like it is a cool cover and everything I like. It has that old school effect on it. Uh, but basically it is a fascinating look into the history of Chaos in Warhammer 40,000. Taken from early issues of White Dwarf and previous editions of Warhammer 40k, including an original description of the Dark Gods of Chaos. As well as demons and traitor legions who served them. So this is a really good idea. Why did not have this for like every army? Again, yeah. Look at the name of like apocrypha, uh, uh, apocrypha, like an encyclopedia. Man, this would be so good. Even if they just brought out like an old world encyclopedia like this from like the old world that was, they never will do that now. But that would have been so awesome. Early accounts of the Horus Heresy, early depictions of demons of chaos, of the demons of each chaos god, classic fiction, uh, so it's pretty much going through a lot of history of it, concept sketches, which, oh, damn, that'd be so cool, the original description of the traitor legions, um, and much more. Now, this is something that is, like, it's 25 euro, much of that in pound, it must be about 20 pound, I think. 
Uh, 20 pound bang on. I would, I probably, I would like to get this even though I don't collect 40k. But this is something, it's like a history, it's like a piece of history from Warhammer. That everyone would kind of like to pick up. Um, it'd be a nice uh, addition to any kind of Warhammer library that you have. Um, Index Chaotica, yeah, definitely check it out. I know I'm going to try and do it. And then finally we have the Codex Supplement, the Traitor Legions. Uh, these supplements, I have no idea what they're like. Uh, it's kind of like they're just updates, I think, for um, armies. Uh, you get data sheets for the following new models. So you have Magnus Dread, it's all like, it's just like an update type of thing, I think. Uh, you get new formations, Chaos Warband. Um, oh shit, there is actually quite a good bit in this. The Chosen of Abaddon. So yeah, I like that formation. They're kind of like the factions in Age of Sigmar. Chaos Artifacts, Warlord, Traits, Tactical Objectives, and an exclusive detachment for each of the nine Traitor Legions. Uh, updated disciplines of Zine, Schnurgle, and Sinish, as well as Sinistrium, Heretic. Uh, so I could get Armory of the Chaos Specimens. Um, you know, I do I do like this. If the su that like supplement books on 40k or in Edge Sigmar, something like this would be cool. But I think when you're playing the game, it's kind of like just having another book to refer to. Like, I don't know, it, like, it has updates, but I don't know if it has the rules for everything else to go with them. But if you're a Chaos guy, uh, if I was a Chaos guy, I'd probably pick this up. There's a lot in this, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, yeah. Oh, I've seen Heldrick. What was the Heldrick? Heldrick Terror Pack. Oh. Um, so yeah, that's it for this week. That is €25. Euro. That's going to be £20 as well. So let me know what you guys think. Um, even though there's no new models, well, apart from uh, the Lake Town House, which is a bit iffy now at the moment, it's a pretty solid release, you know. Those Battle Forces are a really good Christmas present. Then, I should have looked at the, age, uh, the Stormcast one because the, what's this guy called? can't remember the name of this big guy. He's pretty cool. I'm not mad on the Stormcast, but that big guy's awesome. Um, you know, them battle forces are... They're really good. All of them look like they're definitely quality for money. Um, and the two new books as well. So make sure to let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I love getting your feedback. It's what drives me doing. It's what drives me to do this channel. Uh, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.